everybody, Jenna Bunnykins here with yet another makeup tutorial. In case you haven't noticed by now, I am of course the lovely Too Faced. This look is not inspired by the Aaron Eckhart version, but actually the 90s Batman cartoon. The main difference being is that this one is based more with uh, face painting techniques rather than special effects makeup. If you're looking for a more special effects oriented tutorial, you can go check out my other video here. This one is going to go into how to make an actual snarl out of your face, how to pull back your mouth, how to do scars, lacerations, how to make your skin look all wet and mutilated and gross. This one, however, is going to be based more on the face painting techniques. So depending on whatever your preference is, I hope you can check out one of my tutorials. Alright, so let's get started off by the supplies that you're going to need for this look. Um, primarily, you're going to need some face paint, so I've just illustrated here a whole bunch of different face paints you can use. I've actually used these Snazaroo colors for this tutorial, but you can also get your cheapy stuff from the dollar store, and there's also the more high-end body art stuff you can get from uh, arts and craft stores like Michael's. So any of those will suffice just to do the base coat of your face, and also your highlighting and shading and all your other stuff like that. So the next item I have here is the adhesive that you're going to use to get your blisters stuck onto your face. You can use liquid latex, which you can hopefully find at any Halloween store, it usually costs about 20 bucks a bottle. Or if you don't have those resources, you can just use regular school glue. It doesn't stick quite as well, but it should be able to do the job if you're just going to do this for one night out of the year. Um, if you don't want to do the special effects makeup, however, you can skip this step entirely and just draw on your blisters and do a bit of shading that way. That way you don't need to buy any sort of glue or adhesives. And the next thing I have here is just a 120 color palette that I bought off of eBay for about uh, $20-$30. Uh, I just use that to set the colors primarily, just to make sure that they don't crease, so I use most of the blues and the yellows for the face. I'd also recommend getting some tape just for the divide between each side of your face. You can use something like medical tape, that's what I recommend, because that's meant to stick on your skin. However, if you don't have that, you can just use the regular tape. It's not going to stick as well, but it does the same trick. So you're going to want a wide brush to apply that first base of your makeup. And you're going to want to set that makeup with a fluffy brush like this one. As well, when you're applying your liquid latex items, if applicable, you're going to want to get yourself a nice disposal brush. This one here was once normal, but as you can tell now, is ruined by the liquid latex. Then you're going to get yourself some fine, very tiny nibbed uh, brushes just to do like the detailing on your face and some of the shading. And then these ones here, I just use to set most of the powder around my eye. And then the sponges just kind of blended everything together. Next on the docket is more of your special effects makeup. Believe it or not, I actually used Fruit Loops here to apply some of those weird blisters and stuff on my face. I also used scrapbooking stickers. So you can see here, these ones are actually all stuck together. To make them look a bit more deformed, what I did is took some sandpaper, sanded them down, and then covering them in a layer of liquid latex, I sprinkled some crushed up Rice Krispies on them to make them look a bit more mottled and gross, and then just set it again with another layer of liquid latex. So it ended up looking something like this when it was done and had all the blue on it. Just kind of gives your look a bit more depth. And if you want to go one step further, I didn't actually do this in my video, is uh, apply a layer of petroleum jelly just over these wounds and lacerations just to make it look a bit more pustule and gross. And it also never hurts to have some Q-tips on hand. You can use these for cleanups or touch-ups or anything of that persuasion. I used to add a bit of extra liquid latex to the middle of my Fruit Loop wounds. I did it to clean up the mouth and some other line work. I also use these two NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils. Um, one is actually a lip pencil, which is the red, which I did the outline of my mouth with. And the yellow is the base of the eye. And last but not least is the Color Effects Hairspray. This is just going to finish off your look and give you that extra touch of duality that we all so desire from a Too Faced look. Application for this is also super easy. All you have to do basically is spray and walk away. The next day you can just wash it out of your hair like it never even existed. I didn't actually show how to do this on camera, but it's pretty simple. I just parted my hair and then took a piece of paper on the side of my hair that I didn't want dyed and just sprayed and went crazy with it. I'm also going to have all the products listed in the drop-down box below, guys, in case you missed anything. So keep watching for the rest of the tutorial.